just last week I actually got like about 10 in like within two hours. I used to get about seven to eight a day. I uh, started blocking them, so not so much nowadays. Continuing coverage this morning on those annoying robocalls. We all get them. House took action last week passing a bill to put an end to 200 million unwanted robocalls that Americans receive every day. It's now back in the Senate, likely to be on the president's desk before Christmas. If the Traced Act becomes law, it would require phone companies to block robocalls at no extra cost to consumers and require carriers to ensure that calls are coming from real numbers. The bill also would extend the time the FCC has to catch and punish scammers. Violators would face a fine of up to $10,000 per call. Now, not only are these calls annoying, a lot of them are scams. They target you, the consumer. Joining us now, robocall expert Mike Keegan. Mike's with Transaction Network Services. Good to see you this morning. Yeah, we just kind of went over some of the highlights there. But yes. first of all, is this going to pass? Is this something that we will see that changes? Yeah, no doubt. It will pass before year end. All right, so what, as consumers, what kind of change might we see in 2020 that we don't have now? Well, you'll see that the act now requires carriers to take steps to block robocalls. I think that's extremely important from a consumer perspective. So consumers will have more tools to be able to deal with the problem themselves. I feel, okay, I want to come back to that in a second, but I feel like we've, we've gone through these stages every year that they say it's going to be better, it's going to be better. And now we're still talking 200 million robocalls a day. So at some point, are we going to reduce that number? Yeah, there's no doubt that that number is coming down, especially at the top carriers who have already implemented these programs. Most of the robocalling is coming from smaller and rural carriers today. The other thing, you know, this is what I wanted to revisit, uh, what you mentioned is more tools for the consumer. Yeah. I think a lot of consumers are frustrated that it's not the, the phone companies that are blocking these. It's more work on the consumers. Is yeah. that process ever going to change? Yeah, it's going to change for a couple of reasons. One, the act requires now, before it authorized, but it requires carriers to take certain steps to block the robocalls. So there's more data analytics in the programs today that are going to allow that to occur over the next 12 months. All right. And the carriers, the regulations will be there. Will they follow everything? Will it get to the point where a year from now, if we had this same conversation at the end of 2020, will be saying, hey, guess what? I don't have nearly as many robocalls as I did the last time we talked. Yeah, that's the hope, right? And I think it's going to be the reality. Over the next 12 to 18 months, carriers will implement the programs that are necessary to help consumers. All right. In the meantime, we have numbers that are hijacked. We have more calls that are coming in. We have our own phones that are just ringing, in some cases, nonstop. Yeah. What can we do now? Yeah, you know, you got to be careful. I think the, bur the best thing to do is be diligent and then go to your carriers and ask and get the apps to be able to do the, um, take the process in your own hands. But more importantly, like there's a, there's a scam going on right now with Apple. So Apple Care, they're saying they're calling, your account's been breached, but that doesn't occur, right? They only call after you call them. So just be diligent during the holiday season, especially. So on the flip side of things for businesses, because I know you work with a lot of businesses, uh, I'll give you a perfect example. I don't answer my phone anymore if I don't know the number. Right. If they leave a message, they want to get a hold of me, they can leave a message. Yep. Uh, I don't really trust any of the emails that I get anymore yep. unless I know specifically who it's from. Yeah. So consumers, Apple Care in this case, if they have a legitimate attempt to connect with a consumer, is it more and more difficult for them to do so these days? It, it is getting more and more difficult. There are programs that are about to be rolled out where you're actually going to be able to verify that it is a valid call coming from a business. Right, so that's going to happen in 2020 as well. All right, and the other question that I have, and this is something that affects me personally, my parents are older, uh, they get calls, they get scammed, we've had to essentially shut their phone off, yeah. but their carrier only lets you block so many numbers. Is there any chance that might change in the future? Yeah, that will change completely. That, that, that's only a kind of a symptom of the process of this being rolled out right now. In the future, you'll be able to block calls that are not in your context, which I think is the first thing that you should do. And the second thing is you'll be able to um, block, carriers will be able to use the data that they have to block unwanted calls to the extent that they think that they're spam. Right. So the bill authorizes all of that. And the last thing, uh, as we mentioned, a lot of work for us to do manually, blocking those yeah. calls and everything else. Uh, can we rest assured that these companies are actually doing their due diligence behind the scenes as well, that it's not just all coming down to us doing the work? Yeah, no doubt about it. The carriers have been you know, promulgating rules internally and been working very hard to make sure that they solve this issue. Right, we're going to get you back here. In yeah, year. I'll be back in a year. We'll see it. All right, we'll see what yeah, happens. That'd be great. It'll be for the better. In the meantime, if somebody gets a call they don't recognize, just, just don't do it. Just don't, don't do it. Answer. All right. Yeah. Mike Thomas.